Good evening, everyone. We're going to study in the next uh, three days of Mirza Hashem different uh, topics that are related to to modern science from the perspective of uh, Hasidut, Kabbalah and Hasidut, and try to learn from each topic relevant uh, ideas that can help us in our service of Hashem in our daily lives. The first topic is the general topic that we're going to discuss now. It's called counterintuition. Counterintuition is a fancy way of saying that uh, modern science doesn't uh, jive with the common sense. That almost all of the concepts from Einstein on, meaning over a hundred years, negate, contradict basic uh, basic ways of thought that we that most uh, all people possess. So it's called counterintuitive. That's the term that's used. So obviously, the fact that for over a hundred years science is developing in such a way that it's all counterintuitive, that requires a lot of uh, contemplation in and of itself, meaning that the whole world is now becoming counterintuitive, meaning that, that our own lives are becoming counterintuitive, meaning that if we now expect Emirat Hashem very, very uh, soon, immediately in our days, the the Gula Shlemai de Mashiach Tzitkeno, the redemption with Mashiach, so it also must be counterintuitive. So this is the first uh, topic, that how to, to try to intuit counterintuition, and how to try to, uh, to apply this counterintuition to our lives, what it means. The first thing is that the Kabbalah immediately understands the concept of counterintuition much, much more sophisticatedly than the science usually uses the term. Because science uses the term that anything that, that just seems to be against common sense is referred to as counterintuitive, meaning that all the theories of modern science, special relativity, general relativity, quantum mechanics, string theory, it's all counterintuitive. The, the first insight that uh, Hasidut tells us is that, that just like the, the first major theory of modern science, which is relativity, tells us that everything is relative. So the same is true with the very concept of counterintuition. That counterintuition is a relative concept meaning that what for me is counterintuitive for someone else is not necessarily counterintuitive. It all depends where I'm at and what space I'm at or in the terminology of uh, Kabbalah and Hasidut, what a world I'm in, that a person that uh, is in a mind space of a uh, lower dimension, so for him, certain things appear to be counterintuitive, whereas would he be at a higher level of uh, consciousness, then those very things would be intuitive. But at that higher level, as we'll see, also there is counterintuition at his level. And so it goes on and on that in every world there is the intuitive understanding or mind set of that world and then there is the counterintuitive insight that also appears in that particular world. So now we're going to explain it is what we, we try to do always, whoever is a little bit familiar with our, uh, our method of uh, teaching, is to find proper models in the classic uh, terminology of Kabbalah and Hasidut to describe whatever topic we're relating to. And if the model is, is good, so, so by using the model, we not only gain insight uh, Kabbalistically, but we can then apply the model immediately to, to, to properties of our souls, to our lives, as we said before, because every model 
corresponds to the powers of the soul. So that's what we always try to do, to create a proper model. So the model that we're going to use, as I just now said, to try to understand the, the very concept of counterintuitivity and intuition, how that relates to, uh, to the world, to the three lower worlds, the world of action, as called Asiana, as much of the terminology I've written on the board in Hebrew, I hope that some of us uh, can read it. If not, I'll, of course, translate everything that's on the board. It's just much, much easier for me to write it in Hebrew than to try to figure out how to, how to write it in English. We live down here in the world of Asiya, the world of action actually to be more exact in the physical dimension of that world of action. Above our world is a world called the world of formation, above that world is another world called the world of, of creation, Bria. Above all of these three lower worlds that the common denominator of all three is that they possess self-consciousness, and that from creation down every being in every world has a certain degree of self-consciousness, meaning separation from God as absolutely one and only and unique. But as above, all of these three uh, lower worlds is the world of Atsilut, the world of emanation, that has no distinct self-consciousness to it at all. It's purely divine. So what we're now going to explain is that when some counterintuitive insight appears in each one of the lower worlds in accordance with its level of intuition, its common sense. So what is actually happening is that there's a light from the world of Atsidut in the highest world, which is appearing in that lower world. And that is what is counterintuitive. So I hope that now we'll try to make this, uh, make this clear as we proceed with the, with the examples, especially the examples from, from science. So as we said before, science will not tell you that there are different levels of counterintuition, but we are definitely going to explain that there are different levels of counterintuition. First, if this concept is a true concept, so it must have a term for it in, in Hebrew, in, either in the Tanakh, in the Bible, or in Chazal, in the, in the, the literature of the sages, the Talmud. So actually there is a term, it's a very important term that has the, the second line right under counterintuition, the term for something which is against what you initially think it to be is called if homistabra. That's the idiom, it's an idiom that appears in the Talmud. As we're going to explain, it actually appears in the Babylonian Talmud 19 different times. Ifcha mistabra. Ifcha means the opposite. Mistabra means makes sense. The opposite makes sense, meaning the opposite of what you initially thought to be intuitive or to make sense. What you thought to make sense does not make sense, and the very opposite of what you thought to make sense, that's what makes sense. That's called Ifcha mistabra. 